drapes? Hmm. Can you point at something pink? Oh, I love it. Come on, you can do it. Come on and point at something orange. So much fun. First, we walked carefully down to the water. Then, I got to use my fishing pole. I really want to find a purple fish. Here's one fish, two fish, goldfish, pink fish. But I didn't find any purple fish. After we let the fish swim away, I started to look for birds. I have to find a parrot because it has all different kinds of colors. There's a red bird. I think that blue bird is talking to me. We found so many fun birds, but no parrot. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Looking for birds, are you? Hi, Ollie. Hey, you're an orange bird, and I found you. Yes, God made me orange. It's true. God made fish and birds beautiful colors, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I'm trying to get all these letters delivered so I can go to the aquarium with my friends. An aquarium is a place that has huge tanks of water with all kinds of fish in them. Raise your hand if you'd like to look at fish. They're so awesome. Did you know that God made all the fish in the whole wide world? It's true. And God made all the birds too. God made everything. Here, let me show you. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Okay, so we know that on day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. So, when did God make the fish and birds? Drum roll, please. God made fish and birds on day five. On day five, God made everything that swims in the sea. Fish and giant whales and jellyfish and octopus and clownfish. Can you show me how you swim like a fish? <laughs> Great job. You look just like fish swimming in the sea. Then God made birds, eagles and bluebirds and sparrows and parrots and flamingos. God made birds to fly above the land. 
birds are amazing with their wonderful colors and shapes and wings, all different, but all so special. Can you pretend to fly like a bird? Wow, what beautiful birds you are. God made the fish and the birds on day five. When God saw what he had made, God said, that's good. Everyone say that's good with me. That's good. Okay, so let's remember all the things God made that we know so far. On day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. On day five, God made fish and birds. Do you think we can do that faster? Let's all say the things God made. Ready? Go. Day one, light and dark. Day two, sky over water. Day three, land, plants, and sea. Day four, sun, moon, and stars. Day five, fish and birds. <sighs> Great job. But God wasn't finished yet because God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God made each bird in the sky. And God made every fish in the sea, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God made every bird that flies in the sky and every fish that swims in the water. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I think I just heard a bird outside. Maybe it's a parrot. I'm gonna go look. I'll see you later. And it was very good. Genesis 131. God saw everything he had made. And it was very good. Genesis 131.